give his message. Let us uh, give our heartfelt applause to our DNR Secretary Roy A. Simatu, represented by Attorney Jonas R. Leones, Under Secretary for Policy, Planning, and International Affairs, and Commander of the Manila Bay Task Force. <laughs> <laughs> Alcalde, si Alcalde Francisco Isco Moreno de Pegoso, ang uh, kasama rin po si Sir Kenneth ng uh, DPS at yung mga kasama natin na dinis dito sa Kamaynilahan. Ang kasama po natin uh, sa mga Philippine Coast Guard, pinangunahan po ni Vice Admiral Eduardo de Fabricante at Commodore Charlie Frances. Of course, yung mga kasama ko rin sa DNR, uh, pinangunahan po ng aming Undersecretary Joseph Michuna, aming Regional Executive Director ang aming regional director sa EMP, si Don Clemente. Ang aming pong director ng Manila Bay Coordinating Office, si Director Jake Memban. Nandito po si Director Jake. Magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. Unang-unang po sa lahat, pinapabot po ng ating kalihim ang kanyang kauspusong paumanhin. Dahil kagabi po na-confirm siya na pupunta. Kaya lang ngayon ang maga meron po siyang importante at personal na kailangan yung kalahong harapin. So, nagkano po na siya ang kasabi na i-represent na ito po siyang tumingin na pa o kayo sa inyong lahat. So, nandito po ako para basahin lang po yung uh, mensahe ng ating kalihim. Uh, magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. Allow me to thank the city government of Manila under the dynamic leadership of Mayor Francisco Isco Moreno Dumagoso and the Philippine Coast Guard for partnering with the Department of Environment and Natural Resources as manifested in the Memorandum of Agreement that we will be signing shortly. Our Memorandum of Agreement involves installation of water quality monitoring equipment that will buoy off on the shoreline of Paseco in Barangay 649 of Manila. This will be one of the other water quality monitoring equipment that we will be installing along coastline of Manila Bay. In the coming days, Similar equipment will be installed in the Botas and Paranaque. The water quality monitoring equipment will help detect and identify specific pollutants in the bay and enable us to tentatively identify their sources for subsequent verification. That way, we will be able to eventually uh, stop pollution of, at their sources. This will be a major step toward winning the multi-year battle for Manila Bay, which launched, which we launched two years ago. This water quality monitoring equipment on boys have the capability to gather data from the waters of Manila Bay without the need of physical sampling and human intervention. For this to be able to perform their functions, they must be protected from damage, destruction, or loss. Our Philippine Coast Guard will assist us in securing this. But remember, the government cannot do this alone, as uh, highlighted or mentioned by our beloved mayor. We need everybody's help. As one water quality monitoring equipment will remain afloat along the Baseco Beach, we will need the support of the local officials and residents of Baseco. Kayo po ang mga taga rito at nandito po kayo 24-7. And, uh, and thus are in the best position to provide a round-the-clock monitoring and protection of this equipment. Atin pong isipin na para sa ating lahat ito, sana po ay hindi masira o mawala ang water quality monitoring equipment na ito. Aasahan po namin ang inyong malasakit at tulong para sa pangangalaga nito. Together, let us restore Manila Bay to its former glory, the state when it, the state when it, it was clean and safe enough for swimming, boating, fishing, and other forms of contact recreation. Lagi po natin isipin na ikaw, ako, tayo ang kalikasan. Maraming salamat po at magandang hapon po sa inyo. Thank you very much, Attorney Yones. As well as thank you very much um, to Attorney Kuna, Vice Admiral Fabricante, and Mayor Isco Moreno for your inspiring messages. 
So now we are now set to have the MOA signing by and between the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, the City of Manila, in partnership with the Philippine Coast Guard. Okay, ganda lang po. Okay, makali. Jr., the Regional Director of EMBNCR, and Sir Kenneth Amorau, the Chief of um, DPS Manila. I hurt you. 